Hi Sanjay, welcome to this feedback interview session. How are you doing today? Hi sir, I'm doing great. Thanks for giving me opportunity to share the feedback for IMA data. So for the viewers who are watching this video, Mr. Sanjay, he has more than 11 plus years of experience into the IT networking industry. Currently, he is working with HCL and he has more than 11 plus years of experience in two various technologies such as routing, switching, security, voice over IP collaboration. So today in this video session, we are going to discuss about his experience during the courses he has taken with iMedita, his industry experience, what kind of advice uh, he, he suggests for beginners. And at the same time, Mr. Sanjay has served as a trainer with iMedita in past. So we will also discuss about his experience uh, during that time. So hi, Sanjay. Welcome again and let's get started. So with the iMedita, like uh, I'll complete my CCNP collaboration course in 2019. And during my course, I found that institute has a wonderful lab facilities. In fact, uh, the lab attendant, the other trainers, they are happy to help you during your, uh, if you're stuck in your uh, practical and something. And uh, every trainer has their own quality and they are very professional in their uh, respective domains. So my trainer was uh, Sudhan Shubhat and uh, he's a very knowledgeable person. Nowadays, he's uh, like an uh, expert in the multiple domains. Like he's uh, taught me a wonderful things. Like uh, as per the uh, company perspective, like uh, they taught me around how to read the uh, logs because uh, in day-to-day -day troubleshooting, you have to like uh, read the logs once you get the uh, experience in your domain. So they have a uh, like a virtual lab as well. So you can take the access through the internet and do your practice whenever you require. So after the completing of my CCNP calibration course, I got hired by the IV data as a trainer. So I was uh, there for one and a half year. And uh, during my uh, tenure with the IV data, I learn a lot from other trainers as well how to uh, like grip the uh, particular subject and uh, how to become a master in your own domain if i'll talk about my career in the networking domain so i'll started a journey in the networking domain in 2012 so as a associate engineer so i worked with multiple organization before the IME data i was an intech and uh, Intech uh, like posted me in the CBA headquarters, so I was there for four years. And uh, I was only a person who was managing their 84 locations, their data, and the void. So that is like uh, about my career before the IV data and after the. Currently, I am working with SCL technology, as Saurabh sir already shared. So. In the banking project, uh, we resolve their queries uh, on like daily basis and uh, we take the backup of their devices on the weekends, especially because we made the changes every day. So we require uh, many things to do such scenarios. Because you already have more than a decade of experience with multiple organizations, 10 years back, you, you begin as a beginner. Now you are at a senior position. You have worked on various multiple technologies. So what advice would you give to somebody who is planning to kickstart their career now? Okay, let's say somebody is a fresher or they have one, two years of experience into non-IT networking domain and they would like to begin or move their career into this IT networking, network security side. Uh, what advice would you give to them? How should they start learning the concept from where should they begin how much importance they should give to the certifications? Can you please help us uh, in this regards? Like the certification is not uh, mandatory, I must say, because during your interview, your knowledge and your skills are required. So first of all, you uh, become a master in your subject, like go deep, do the practice, 
ask the questions your trainer and spend multiple hours with your lab practicals and uh, try to grab like how to pack it route from one router to route other router what the multiple things are happening with the packet so i believe these things are most important than your certifications because certification is uh, just shortlist your resume but you get not hired by the any company if you are not enough knowledge right right and you have given many interviews okay you have given interviews for this hcl prior to this you were working with some other company for that also you have given interviews so when candidate they appear for interviews what kind of questions they can expect okay because you have given multiple interviews so what do you suggest what kind of inputs you can give that uh, whether candidate should focus more on the theoretical side first then go on the scenario based then industry specific and then their previous companies roles and responsibility specific so in last couple of years whatever interviews you have given based on that particular feedback can you help us understand that which area candidate should focus uh, initially well like uh, it is totally depend candidate to candidate if he is a beginner so he must be uh, clear with his basic concept of his domain if candidate has uh, one or two year experience so he must be good in his uh, past experience because their interview start from their uh, what they are did in the uh, with their previous organization so they must be brush up their uh, day to day activities because they start their like uh, interview start asking the question from his past experience then he will uh, like uh, interviewer accept that uh, uh he is sitting for the particular uh, a post and uh, then they start their interviews regarding the uh, job requirements so i must say that they always focus on the basic concept and uh, as well as if you are experienced so they ask uh, they do they don't accept that they will ask you a basic questions they ask the scenarios based and they give you they put you in the situation that uh, suppose uh, uh, if i take a, a recently example i, I attended an interview they ask me that uh, suppose my uh, Uh, we the i run a command uh, show uh, voice port summary so all ports are down but why like uh, one port is up so i think a uh, voice uh, or voice domain persons get to understand like there are uh, 32 channels in uh, even controller so always a uh, 15 channel is up during for the uh, uh, signaling so such type of questions they ask to understand you and like a uh, deep knowledge you have so they don't ask that uh, what is the role of uh, signaling in the uh, controller and uh, if uh, i talk about the routing and switching so a first question they ask how packet route from one computer to another computer so and uh, it is very deep because uh, as you explain they ask more on what layer which which header is added how and they go beyond that as well so in a nutshell you mean to say if somebody is a beginner fresher they should focus on the core fundamental basic concepts first correct do lot of yes. labs practicals related to those concepts maybe in cisco packet tracer gns3 even gr maybe on hardware if that is available and based on that they can kick start their career once they kick start their career then they can go for some certifications or initially if they can manage right. they have budget they can go for some certifications otherwise they should focus on the concepts foundation fundamentals their concept should be very much clear and they can uh, validate those concepts through practicals on these simulators and emulators and once they kick start their journey let's say they have 6 months of experience 8 months of experience that time they can look forward for global certification such as ccna or maybe correct some other associate level certification and once they have one two years of experience then they look for uh, first change that time they should focus more on the work which they were doing along with the concepts right. the work which they were doing because during the interviews when they have one two years of experience most of the questions will be related to their work experience and the knowledge right. which they have implemented 
and once they have more years of experience five years six years then they should focus more on the scenarios practical implementations of those scenarios because those yes. complex scenarios will be discussed during the interviews right 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 and do you hold some global certification at this level yes like uh, i have ccna routing and switching and uh, ccnp collaboration as well as i recently did my itl certification uh, like my company forced me to complete and they like completely uh, sponsored the program sponsored uh, their programs like they gave a training and they paid our fees to okay. get this certification in fact uh, uh, i like i never uh, like uh, uh like uh, suppose uh, i like uh, rejected due like due to the like i don't have any certification okay so certificates only give you a opportunity you can get a shortlisted that's it nothing so you else. mean you mean to say in the last 11 years okay you have some limited certification but you have never got rejected based on the certification right right correct okay, right. correct in maybe in some specific cases organization might say that we need only this certified candidate but if we can convince them right. that yes i have the knowledge and if you right. give me offer before offer or before joining i can submit the certification so you can prepare and you can attempt those certification but majorly yes. organization are looking for skilled candidate experienced candidate right then certification comes into the picture yes like uh, if i'll uh, frankly speaking companies hire the uh, cci candidate and ccnp candidates uh, just get the projects only mm -hmm. and uh, the project run by the candidates those are experienced and have a uh, skills right and they are getting a uh, more salary than the certified engineers as well in right. some cases right. so as as engineer we should first focus on knowledge in depth knowledge right. deep dive kind of knowledge gain practical experience and then focus on the global certification sometimes right. many participant they initially just focus on certification they pass the certification but they do not have that kind of skill set so they face a lot of issues during the interview i hope you might have also seen many similar right, cases right right like uh, if as per the global standardization suppose i am ccnp certified and i am mentioning this thing so interviewer accept me that i have a enough knowledge right. and they ask me a, a very good or strong questions related to the labs and scenario based the questions start the, asking the things so first of all get the experience get the knowledge then go for the certification because then you can prove that you are a a certified train or certified uh, candidate engineers we also get this question from many candidate they feel that networking industry network security cyber security or cloud networking domain because these four five areas are very interrelated with each other network domain network security voice collaboration wireless cloud networking and we have seen many candidates they have this misconception in nowadays that there are less opportunities in these domain based on your years of experience recently you have joined hcl Uh, can you help us understand uh, what kind of opportunities you have got how many interview opportunities you have got are the openings sufficient in the industry is this domain growing and there is a lot of requirement for the engineers as well yes like uh, every domain has a opportunity to grow in their particular uh, field as well and as i earlier said that you have a good or enough knowledge for your domain like you can grow well i seen that uh, multiple voice jobs are uh, vacant these days and uh, if you have like you if you are a multiple uh, if you are have a multiple domains knowledge so definitely you will got shortlisted or uh, got a very good package nowadays uh, or uh, security like i i must say about the security like security domain is very uh, secure nowadays and uh, if you go on the cloud platforms like uh, basic things are this remain same because we need a router and switch ins we need a data engineer if uh, we have a server so we need a, a server engineers as well so there is a 
know that the IT interesting is going downfall and uh, in the future we do not have a uh, data and uh, voice jobs. So yes, every uh, field has uh, add some things like uh, previously there was only IP phones, but now we are uh, working with the multiple like uh, WebEx calling is there and uh, Teams is there. So you have to like upgrade timely within a four or five year, you have to update yourself to achieve your career goal. So like uh, I was not aware about the WebEx, but uh, yes, I am doing a good in the WebEx. Like I'll troubleshoot about uh, how to like why it is not working. And uh, so you can learn uh, in your career path as well as like a company provide you if the something is add by the company so they provide you a training as well for this thing so i think uh, like every domain has a enough job opportunity but yes as per the market demand you have to approve yourself that you are a, a good candidate and you have a sufficient knowledge right you joined us um couple of years back for certification courses into VoIP and then you also joined our team as an as a team member as an employee how was the overall experience as a student and as a team member uh, like uh, as a student uh, I did a lot of practice I think I spent uh, eight or ten hours in the lab and I think uh, then they like my trainers and other management staff noticed me that I am doing, uh, like I am spending much time or uh, I have a good skills. So they notice me and they offer me a good uh, salary package. And uh, after joined the team, like uh, I found that uh, I'm a part of uh, the IME data. Like it was a pleasant experience uh, with entire team. Like they are very, like all are very supportive. Uh, uh, they gave me opportunity to learn the other domains as well. Uh, I got hired by the IME data for the collaboration engineer, but uh, they made me expert in the uh, routing and switching as well. So I took around uh, 10 to 15 days to become an expert in the routing and switching. I, and I started uh, classes to teach the student the same CCNP and CCNA routing and searching. Thank you, Sanjay. Thank you for giving us your valuable time today. It was really nice talking to you. We wish you all the very best for upcoming future. Keep in touch and all the best once again. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you.